Oh, hello there. Right, well, you've got a bit of an idea of what I've uh, been up to just lately. Front wheel's out of the Triumph. And uh, as you can probably spot a sh nice shiny new Metzler Torrance in the front. Literally nice, shiny and new. Never been on the road as of yet. So what I'm going to do now, before I fit it, is I'm going to just check over the brakes. Pads have got a bit of life left in them. Uh, I've got a set, a spare set already, but uh, I'm not going to fit them today because there is some life left in those ones on the bike. But I'm going to give it all a good, good old clean up. Check that everything works before I put the wheel back in. Now, there's another top tip that doesn't really apply on the Triumph, to be honest. But if you've got a wheel out, put your spacers, put your axle back in, and your spacers are uh, in the order that they should go, or on the sides that they should go. Now, uh, on the Triumph, it, uh, it doesn't make any difference, because they're, they're the same. It's symmetrical, so they can go in either way. But do that. And uh, you won't get confused when you come to reassembly. Right, let's get it cleaned. Right, there we have it. Much cleaner. Everything's free. Everything moves around as it should. Everything's intact. Time to put the wheel in. Now, when you put the wheel back in, just... Uh, Exercise a little bit of caution with the uh, the ABS sensor, that thing there. You don't want to be clouting that. Uh, and to make your life easier, you can just back the pads off slightly, just to give you a slightly wide, wider gap to uh, to get the disc into, so you've got a different angle of attack. Now I didn't have the correct sized Allen key, but what I did have was a selection of. Um, automotive sump plug removers these things which fit nicely in there and then I could use a 19 millimeter spanner on that to loosen and tighten the front axle so if you don't have the right size Allen key have a dig around your your toolbox and you might just find that you've got something like this which does an equally good job anyway there we go. Wheel fitted, refitted with its nice shiny new tyre. Now, nice and shiny is not a good thing. Uh, and it's particularly not a good thing on a front tyre. Because the last thing you want is for your tyre to wash out while it's got this, uh, this shiny releasing agent. The, the stuff that they... Uh, put in the mould when they make the tyres to release it from the mould. So that's not very grippy at all. So uh, what we need to do is uh, give that a light scrub so that I can trust it around corners. Now there are numerous ways you can do that. Some people will spend time with a bit of abrasive paper and just rub it off while it's here. Well, I'm way too idle to do that. So, uh, this is what I do. And this is how I do it. It is slithering a bit. You can actually feel it sort of attempting to give way. And I'm having to pedal it a bit, paddle my foot down. But it does help that I live on a, uh, a sleepy little suburban street where the neighbours are used to me and I'm not making too much noise or disturbing too many people. But that's all there is to it.
you've got to ride the clutch a bit and uh, I'm barely registering 10 miles per hour and already I can feel that it's uh, not slithering and sliding around right, let's just do another couple of left-handers and that will be my front tyre nicely uh, scrubbed ready for road use if you want to practice this if you're a little bit uh, wobbly at slow speeds the trick kind of is look where you're going Ride the clutch a little bit. Don't mark anything out. Just find a bit of car park or yard or wherever. I wouldn't recommend doing it on the road unless you uh, get on with your neighbours like I do and there's very little traffic comes up. It's a good way to scrub your tyres in and it's a good way also if I had a bit more room I'd have done figures of eight uh, but there's not that much room on my street so uh, doing a figure of eight is uh, a little bit more difficult on this bike on the CCM it is doable but on this bike not quite so easy and there you go most of that tyre I've now scrubbed the shiny release agent off as easy as that I'll see you soon thanks for watching